Okay, in today's video, I want to apologize. I want to apologize because I missed the what the housing market was going to do. I missed what interest rates are going to do. Here, let me explain. About two years ago, I said the housing market's going to be completely flat. Okay, and a lot of people are saying, no, it's going to crash. It's going to crash 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. And I was one of those out there that says, no, it's not going to crash. There's just not enough supply out there to do that. And then I also said mortgage rates should be about five and a half to six percent. Well, if if all the dynamics behind the scenes were like they were, you know, 10 years ago, we probably have interest rates at that level right now. But because of government spending, all the, the world issues right now, the mortgage rates are actually inflated. Uh, but I won't go there. I, I, I was wrong. OK, but what I want to talk about today is because we really don't have any economic news. I want to say or explain to you guys how much do you really need to make to buy a house in 2024? I'm talking to you. I'm not talking about the neighbor down the, the, the street or what these YouTuber people are telling us or what the average person could, could afford. How much can you afford? So I'm gonna walk you through the dynamics of this. I'm gonna show you where to get your credit report and your actual credit score that lenders use and then figuring out how much you can budget for to buy a house. Now in, in today's market, if, if it's in realm and you, you might be able to buy a home, well then I'll, I'll give you my information. Love to help you navigate this scenario. But if, if it gets to the point where it's like, it's just, you can't afford it, then unfortunately you might not be able to afford it. So without further ado, let's dive into today's data. The first thing we wanna do is go to the economic calendar. So you can see existing home sales, that's the only information out today. Last reading was 4.2 million, expected to stay at 4.2 million. It dropped to 4.1 million. So it was a kind of a, a drop off in existing home sales. You're seeing a little bit of a correction in the bond market right now. So I follow this right here to figure out what the heck's going on with mortgage rates. This is a mortgage bond that trades on Wall Street. This yield is basically the biggest component of your mortgage rate. Earlier this morning, the MBS prices were down about 18 ticks. That means rates were going to go up about 0.05. So if you looked at rates right now, that you know rates would be at 7.10, and then it started recovering right through here. Well, what happened right through here? Well, this news saying basically the housing uh, market or housing sales are, are plummeting. Okay, so that's that piece of the puzzle. Next, we wanna go over to here and see what, what's going on with home prices. Well, California home prices hit record high. Median price for a single family home here, and this looks like in Boston is, is 610. Then you go up to greater Boston area and it's 950. Home sales in the Metro Detroit area finally surpassed recession levels. And all I did was Google home prices. Okay, so this is what pops up. You keep seeing home prices going up and up and up. Okay, so what's going on with rents? Well, if you go over to here, you can see Nerd Wallets. I just subscribed to this system. They're saying rents since the pandemic are up 31%. 31%. So a lot of people have been telling you don't buy, you'd be an idiot to buy. I'm not, I'm not one of those, but I'm not saying you have to buy. But if I see my housing payment going up 31% in let's say four years, so 10% a year, I'm going to be priced out of even renting a home eventually. Okay. So in today's video, what I want to show you guys is how much can you really afford when it comes to a home? Don't listen to these things. You'll, you'll need a hundred thousand dollars in income to buy the typical home. Where, where is it? Is it in Detroit or is it in San Francisco? difference. So how much do you need to make and how much can you afford? So let's get over to it. The first thing I need you to do is let's figure out what credit score you're working with. That's the biggest point. And a lot of people, we get probably 20, 30 calls a day. And the first question we ask is, hey, what's your credit score? And everybody knows. 99% of them are completely wrong. Okay, why? They're giving us a credit score that they got from like Credit Karma or their Discover card or something like that. It's not their true, what we call FICO score. So how do you get your FICO score? That's a step one. We're gonna, we're gonna pull your credit, not pull your credit, you're gonna pull your credit. We're gonna see what your score is and what your other debt is, okay? And I wanna walk you through how much can you afford to buy? So let's go over to creditscoresandmore.com. This is a website I created years ago just for this purpose. You can go down through here and hopefully there's a bunch of educational information in here for you. There's free credit scoring systems. If you click that, you go to Credit Karma or Credit Sesame. Great systems. And if you do this, don't sign up for any of the bells and whistles. It's just going to, you know, you don't need it. The free system's good enough. But what we want to do is we want to find out what is your true credit score, the one that mortgage lenders are going to use. You're going to click right through here. What is my true credit score? It's going to bring up your fight. FICO. It's called My FICO. And there's three different options you can pick from, but you're going to need all three reports. So I would suggest you pick in the one in the middle, but it's completely up to you. So you can go down through here and you can see which one of these packages you want. 
And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the information from that and you're gonna move it over to this. Now down below, I'm gonna have a link to our max mortgage price or max price calculator. Okay, we do sell it unfortunately. Uh, I think it's less than 20 bucks, but it's packed with information. And it's gonna help you figure out, can I buy in today's market or not? Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go through here and you're gonna put in your down payment. Now, if you're a first time home buyer and you, your credit score is greater than 700, we'll put 3% in here. If your credit score is less than 700, put three and a half percent in there. The reason why is it's different programs. One's going to be FHA, one's going to be conventional, but don't get too, too confused with a lot of this stuff. It should be preempted that the, the interest rate is seven, but if it's not, please put it at seven because that's what today's rates are. Then it's going to be a 30 year term. And it's going to give you, don't mess with any of this other information down here. Okay. So then what it's going to ask you, it's going to say, how much do you make? So what you're going to do is you're going to put in your gross income right through here. And then down through here, it's going to ask you for your creditors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the information from your credit report, the my FICO credit report, and you're going to put it in here. It's going to say, I have a car loan for $415 and I have credit card payments for 200. Then you can scroll down. If you have a co-signer or co-borrower, they can put in their information as well. This person, they make 35 grand. They have a $350 student loan and a $200 uh, credit card payment. Okay. So that's now their financials and, and that then so forth. Then you're going to go over to the next section and it's going to tell you how much you can afford. And it breaks it down tremendously for you. It's let's start from the top. Let's go up here. So up through here, it's going to say you can afford an $1,835 payment. Maybe it's going to give you multiple options and there, here's where it is. So let's blow this up just a little bit. Maybe if I can do that. So it's going to say, well, if you want to play it safe, if you want to play it safe and have a really cheap mortgage payment, then you can pretty much enjoy the rest of your life. You can afford a $228,000 home, but you might say, D Dan, there's, I can't, there's no $228,000 homes in my area. Well, this one, you can go all the way down to 560,000. So this would be based on an FHA loan. FHA can go up to a 57% debt ratio. Now, now, now don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving you the guidelines based on all this, where I would be, I would probably fit in the area of moderate to conservative. You know, I don't want to get aggressive. So if you can find a house in this range, that's probably most likely what you know, you might want to look at, but that's up to you guys, because remember, this is for you, nobody else, not your neighbor, not the average American. It's for you. Then we scroll down and it gives you a whole bunch of other things, different loan types and the loan amounts. It also goes through here and let's, let's just scroll down. I won't spend a lot of time on this because you can scroll down through here. It'll break down what the monthly payment's going to be. It'll also analyze the area that you're looking in to say, well, in that area, your utilities are probably going to be about this and your maintenance fees are going to be about this. And then it just goes through and gives you a bunch of other information on how much you could afford, how much you can tweak the payments and so forth. And it gives you a breakdown of all kinds of different variations. There also is at the bottom of this, there's multiple ways that people look at, you know, their finances. Some people follow David Ramsey. So if you follow David Ramsey, he's going to say you can afford a $202,000 home. If you follow the qualified mortgage program, it's going to say you can qualify for 412,000. So look at the disparity there. It's double. Okay. So that's why my goal, my whole goal here is to educate, inform, and help you guys navigate the, the housing market. Maybe it's a time where you can buy. Maybe it's a time you can't buy, but let's say you go through all these numbers and it works and you're like, Hey Dan, okay, now what? Well, reach out to us. I'd love to assist you even further at this point. So go to the rateupdate.com. Okay. And you can hit the apply now button to get started. But there's also grant. There's a grant tab up there. This is going to help you find grants that you might qualify for up to 7,500. There's, there's multiple grants in there. One of them's up to $7,500 that you don't have to pay back. It's completely forgivable. Okay. But if you're also, once you click the apply now button, you might say, Dan, I, I got a lot of questions. I would rather, can I call in? Well, absolutely. You can call in, scroll down to the bottom and there's our information right through there. You can give us a call at 844-775-5626, or you can email me directly at dan at the rate update.com. And yes, it will be me replying. So that's my video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find value in my channel. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe right over there. Take care, folks. Have a good day. And I'll see you at my noon or lunch uh, midday report. Have a fantastic day. See you there, folks. Bye-bye.